Have you noticed any correlations between a specific diet type and insulin resistance? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I will just say at the risk of offending a significant number of people, I am vehemently opposed to veganism wow. in, in every way, shape or form. Uh, so I'll make that incredibly clear up front. I think that it is uh, completely antithetical to human development and human survival. We are not herbivores um, by any objective measurement. Now, I know that when it comes to veganism, there's, it's, it's not scientific. It's more in the realm of almost kind of a religious um, zeal where the, the fervor that comes with someone being vegan. And I, I don't mean for that to sound offensive, actually. I, I truly don't. Um, in some instances, someone's doing it because they feel it's more of a moral um, situation. <clears throat> I will, to kind of dispel that idea a little bit, and, and to speak completely as a scientist and a life scientist at that, a cell biologist, some, everything that is living is living because it benefits from something that died. Now, I say that because perhaps the moral vegan is going to say, well, I'm not going to eat animal foods because I don't want to contribute to killing that animal. Well, that is wrong thinking because everything that we eat is something that was alive and we've killed it. Um, even growing plants that, that, that anyway, it doesn't matter what it is we're eating. We are a live, we are alive because we're benefiting from something that died plant or animal. <clears throat> so it's just, you pick what you're, uh, what you're going to do. But even that beside the point, there are essential, there are fats that are essential to humans, um, <clears throat> that you cannot get from plants. There are amino acids that are essential to humans that you'd have a very hard time getting from plants that you get very easily from animals. <clears throat> and there are different, so, so there are different other nutrients so, so that you would be absent in. So to be vegan, <clears throat> and then I promise I'll stop talking about that. Um, it is a privilege of the elite. You have to be educated enough to know what you're deficient in because you will be deficient in nutrients. There's no question. Absolutely, you will be. And you have to be wealthy enough to afford the high quality supplements to make up for it. So I don't think a vegan diet is um, uh, a sustainable or even practical diet for a human. 